All right. So, let me move them. this way all right so what I'm aiming to do with this video if I don't knock my mic over is I wanted to show with pocket dimensions just coming out from free show industries I wanted to demonstrate why I'm loving this plugin as a, a granulizer coupled with this is just kind of a test to maybe do more of this in the future do some breakdowns and look at the chains Y'all can yell at me over how unorganized I am in my song creation, but whatever. Um, so what I wanted to do is come to a section in this song that I'm working on called Spring Loaded, and I wanted to show the baseline section I'm working with. Now, I've already done a sample layer, or I've already resampled it using Pocket Dimension, but I wanted to show the difference when you use Pocket Dimension on a sound and how much you can control its granulization. and. I mean, how fun it looks to use. Like, it just... I, I remember these little sound... Def I don't know, it's a noisemaker that my dad had when I was younger. And it's a little box, and it had all these different sounds, and you could control the sounds. And I like the idea of putting that into a plug-in, giving that toy-like feel to sound engineering. And so, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me make sure... I have that the mix is off and so you can hear what happens without pocket dimension going on or at least whatever sample I have going on so let's go ahead and start this All right, we've got that. Now, I have a whole chain of automation stuff I've used with uh, peak controllers to set this up. And now let's go ahead and max this mix and see what happens with this automation. And I, I'll change some things to show what you can kind of map with this. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Now, I'm also running it dry and wet, so I just realized I should go ahead and turn this part of the chain off, and let's try this again. Only pocket dimension sending the sound. So, let's give this a shot. Uh, I'll skip ahead from the drop. So just with that, you can really mangle a sound. And I love that you can map either the parameters for each one. I, I don't actually know what they're doing directly, but void, dose, and secret, you can map them to the X parameter or Y parameter. You can have them just be set statically. Coupled with, I haven't even turned this on yet. So we can come back to this and we can try this sound. I'll Put it back to the way it was i think i just had an x on and there's a whole ufo thing going on with this plugin so i can turn this on and now it almost adds like a frequency shift follow or maybe a flanger i don't know but listening to what it does these different shapes for the UFO to follow.
Okay. But that's just like a taste of what I've been experimenting with this. But this $30 or... I, and I really appreciate how Freak Show Industries... Like, they even allow you to get it for free. But the fact they allow you to pay what you want. And when you're struggling on cash, like, you can still show the appreciation for a tool like this. And also get the benefits of being able to use it and engineer your sounds. Like, I... Anyone that's getting into sound engineering, anyone that's looking for plugins to really mangle and get new spectral qualities out of their shit, I highly recommend looking at Freak Show's Industries... Freak Show Industries plugins. They're wonderful, they're fun to use, they look surreal, and their advertising is great. I'm not gonna spoil it, just go to their page and look at how they advertise their VSTs and their plugins, and it's it's worth it. They have such a love for what they're creating that I don't see in other VSD creators very often. So, I guess here's a test video coupled with, I hope y'all got something from this. Maybe you end up looking into using Freak Show Industries plugins. Maybe you heard something that I made that sounded interesting. Whatever. Do your thing, and I hope you enjoy whatever endeavors you're going on.